everyone, it's Casey and today I'm making a what am I working on video. I wanted to give you a little update on the Monster High dolls that I was talking about in my last video. So one thing that I didn't know when I bought this doll that I um, unboxed in my previous video is that these wings are attached to her. So it doesn't seem like there's really any easy way to remove them. So I'm kind of disappointed just because I don't really like the whole get up and so I'm thinking about changing her to another body because I found another one at a thrift store. However, I prefer this older face than the newer face and so I kind of feel like uh, why give this new one the body when I really kind of like this head more. So I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. The other problem I noticed is that she has, um, well I thought she had two of the same hands but I guess, is that, I think they're just on the wrong side. Let's see, can't really tell what's going on here. So they are opposite hands, they're just on the wrong side, so let's change those to the right, to the correct side. And I also noticed, I'm not sure which doll this is, as far as like which release, but her face has some shimmer in it, which I haven't seen in the other ones, so I still might just take her body and put it on this other one. I, I don't know yet what I'm going to do, so. so that's part of it and then the other one that I showed you that I was working on I'm working on rooting her hair so I'm going to show you a little bit about what I learned about that in my last video I was telling you I wasn't really sure how to take the head off so I watched a video on YouTube and basically you just heat up the head and the neck area and then it comes off but let me show you what it looks like inside the reason why it was I wasn't sure about taking it off is because the inside looks like this. So it goes way up in there um, and when you pull on it, it doesn't look like it will come out, but it will if the, the vinyl is heated up. So that's what the, the head looks like. So I did get the head off and what I've done is removed all the paint. I removed all the paint on the head. It was painted black. It was really hard to get it off in um, the holes, so I went ahead and used a tiny bit of pink paint that was similar in color to the hair and used a toothpick to get it, like put little dots inside the holes so that you wouldn't see the black between the hair. I don't know if it was necessary, but I just wanted to take that precaution because I wouldn't be able to do it after rooting the hair. So I finished the part line, it doesn't look great yet, and I'm working my way around. So. What I did is I looked on YouTube, I don't know what that dot is right there, um, because I didn't really want to have to invest in a tool and I didn't really have any he anything here for rooting hair, because when, I, when you root a Blythe doll, or when I did, you knot the hair and then pull it through with a crochet needle, but this hole is very small and so it's not really possible to get in there with, with a crochet needle. And I was worried that the hair would just fall out if I rooted it in. So I was looking on YouTube and I found that you could make your own little rooting tool just with a needle and I just taped it to a pencil. And it's really been working great. So I'm going to show you how I do that. And um, But before I do that, I also wanted to show you, I found this doll at the thrift, the thrift store. And I don't know who she is, but I think she's really cute. So I like her face a lot, so she's also one that I'm hoping to work on at some point, but I have way too many projects going here. So let's look at rooting a little bit of this doll's hair. So what you're going to need is you do need some water and then your hair, which this is mohair that I had left over from a midi blythe that I rooted quite some time ago. And I kind of wanted to use it up and I'm hoping that I'm going to have enough. I have a little bit more in a bag, so hopefully it'll be enough for this doll. You're going to need your rooting tool, which like I said, I made with a needle. All I did was take a needle, cut off um, part of the 
eye of the needle with some fingernail clippers and I just taped it to this pencil and then I have a little hair comb. So mohair gets kind of wild after a while so usually when I start I kind of wet it down and you'll notice that I did the part first and I have two little ponytails that are holding the part hair because you really don't want it to get back mixed up in the hair that you're working on because when I've already thatched it which means that I've crossed it back and forth and I don't want it to get messed up um, and untangled and un unparted basically. So I have those in little ponytails. So normally I just get the hair a little bit wet just to kind of keep it out of the way. And then what you're going to do I've actually been working on this side because I'm afraid that if I run out, I'll have pink all on one side and and none on the other. And what I my plan is if I run out to do the back in like a if I can't get the exact same color, then I'm going to do like a white or something. So you're going to want to take um, a chunk of your mohair and then you really want like a pretty small strand, maybe like this, and then I get it wet, because when it's wet it's easier to work with, and then you're going to find a hole that you haven't um, put any in, and then I just hold it over the hole with my two fingers, I don't know if you can see this, I hope you can, I can't really see, okay. So then you're going to hold it over the hole and then you'll take your pencil with your rooting tool and push as much of the hair into the hole as possible. And sometimes there's some, you know, sticking up from the end so I try to do it as close to the end as possible but not too much so that the hair stays in. And then you don't want to pull too hard on it because, like I said, it's not knotted on the inside. The vinyl is just pinching the hair and holding it there. When we're finished, we will pour some glue in here and get it around inside that head and hopefully that will keep the hair from coming out. I imagine there still will be some hair that will come out, but hopefully most of it will stay. So again, you just take a small piece and then you can get it wet with your fingers. Hold it over a hole, take your needle. It's definitely a slow process, which is one of the reasons I don't mind doing these smaller dolls, um, because bigger dolls take a long time, but I've still been working on this for, I don't know, a few days. I work on it just kind of sporadically, but I'm really excited. I can't wait to see what she's gonna look like, and I'm planning something very special for this doll, so Please be sure to subscribe and also check my Facebook for announcements on what's going to happen with her because I'm really excited to get her done and share with you my plans. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this a little bit informative and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.